hello friends today in this blender tutorial we will learn how to create a pond in blender so this is the blender's default screen with default cube object we will delete this default cube object by pressing del from the keyboard delete and select delete now add a mesh type plane now press S to scale it and drag as per need. Now press tab to go into the edit mode then subdivide this plane 5-6 times like this. Now press tab to return from edit mode. Sorry. Uh, don't return from edit mode we are in the edit mode deselect by pressing a from the keyboard deselect all the vertices now uh, press c from the keyboard to get a selection circle selection mode now i am going to select the vertices like this to give a spawn position on this plane so i am doing like here that i am selecting the vertices that we don't need for a pond so i am doing like this you can do like to give a pond shape on this play so try to do this like this so i am trying to give a good shape pawn shape here you can give any shape you like for your pawn so select that versus vertices like this so after creating the pawn shape like this press enter to return from this selection mode then after we will try to give the actual pawn effect to this scene or image now press enter to return from selection mode now go to the proportional editing menu proportional editing then select enable then press G to grab all these selected vertices now drag it upside to give a pawn shape okay it looks like this press tab to turn from the edit mode now go to the front view you can see the looks like this this is the front ortho view now I am going to add a new plane select add mesh plane now scale it up like this and set this plane with the previous plane to starting from low bottom rise position like this okay like this yes now go to the view and then I am going to set the camera location select the view camera from the view now I am going to set this scene to with this camera before setting the camera position select press N from the keyboard and then lock camera to view select lock camera to view now go to the camera view okay so set this location this scene with the camera you can set as per your need you feel better that you feel better so I am trying to set this 
now go to the rendered mode on rendered mode it looks like this now i am going to set the materials on both these planes so select the first second plane that is already selected actually if not then select plane second plane then go to the material button click on the material one click on the new select the uh, color type blue color okay because the water effect is comes with the blue and uh, gray color mixing so this is the blue color with this plane is diffuse type diffuse with blue color and intensity is 0.8 that means the water is glowing now select the texture click on the texture new then select the texture type is stretchy oh sorry uh, clouds first select the texture type cloud and then change the this pink color and the mapping type so the mapping default mapping type is uv type change to uv to generated then change this color from pink to gray you can do some rnd with this blue and gray color to give a good effect water effect actually so i am setting it like this you can set this gray color as per your need okay after setting this color and then i am going to it apply another texture on the same plane so select the second texture from the menu now click on the new button select the texture type stretchy this gives a wave effect to this water go to the mapping type change this uv to generated now change this pink color again from pink to gray okay so you can do some r and d with these settings to give a good look to your scene uh, i am going to set here the gray color like this and then give some wave effect to change the normals value by default the value is 1 i am going to change this value from one to another you can do some rnd with setting this wave effect and the size the basis size so that is the default 0.25 i am going to change from g.1 okay i am also doing some rnd you can change these values and see the effect and select a best look the normal value is 1 i am going to change this value 0.7 then it look like this so i am trying to set this value here uh, now i am going to change the value of another plane change this value color value also uh, on the stretchy texture gray then i am going to change the value of the sorry uh, the effect on the material if material on the plane ground actually the first plane so select the plane first plane and then go to the material button click on the material button click on the new go with the default then click on the texture click on the new select a image or movie type 
then I am going to set a grassy image here like this you can search the grassy field images on the net and set here it looks like this now almost this scene is ready you can render or animate to generate the pond image